from a contact center leadership perspective, do you think that um, leadership teams, if they understand that the shift is taking place and this need to be able to sell the value proposition to a C-level executive, do they think? Do you think they understand what are the key components to delivering that message? Do you, Aside from you know average handle time, all of those analytics, do they do they understand how to remove the industry speak and put the business speak, especially at executive level, that's going to be meaningful, the things that they want to hear? The, those that can uh, are very very successful, and those call centers are viewed as strategic components to the business. Those who can't, they are viewed as a necessary evil. Um, uh, a cost center and, and in some cases the management inside the call center business views themselves as unappreciated that people just don't understand what it is we do for them and if in fact anybody who uh, operates a call center feels like that that usually tells me that they haven't done a very good job of telling the story of the value they bring to the organization I, I think if people could sort of take themselves out of their day-to-day -day shoes and, and sort of drop themselves into the shoes of a C-suite, uh, somebody in the executive suite, and if you think about the types of things that keep them up at night, you know, what are the things that really get them excited? Can you make me money? Can you save me money? Can you take risk out of my business? I mean, three pretty basic things, but all of these either drive share price, they drive survivability of the corporation. They drive growth in the business. So all of these particular things are what's of interest to an executive. So when somebody shows up and says, I need a new call recording system for the call center, all that is being heard by the executive is, you want to spend money. I haven't heard you say how you will make me money from it, how you will save me money from it, or how you can take risk out of the business. And that risk could be, mean I don't get sued, uh, you know, I have the best technology, I don't have staff turnover, which has a high cost structure, or co cost, uh, structure to it. Uh, so I, I think that it, it just takes a little tweaking on how you approach it. The other thing I find that most call center uh, VPs and uh, people who run the operation is when they talk about strategy for their call center, they talk about strategy in terms of the technology that they'll employ. Not the strategy of how I'm going to actually deliver value to my business, how I'm going to help my CEO be successful. And I think if they can learn that, to hold that kind of strategy session that links them together with the rest of the organization, their jobs will be that much easier for them and much more enjoyable. The, the other thing that call center executives don't do is they don't network very well inside their own organization. They don't network very well outside their own organization. And some of that is there's a fear that, well, if I tell you what I'm doing, then you know, I've lost an advantage. The real advantage is sharing information, talking about the industry, not specifically a technique that you've employed, mm -hmm. but being able to understand the business better, knowing who you could call for assistance. Uh, and, and what I tr try to tell people is that networking inside a corporation is multidimensional. So you're networking up, you're networking across, and you're networking down in the organization. So don't assume that everything is based on the status, because the things you find out from frontline people are so significant. The things that you will learn from your peers are how the rest of the business operates. And what you learn from the people that are above you is what it takes to actually run the business.